Next Monday, the story of black English tells of the Creoles of African slaves, the Geechee of the Deep South, the jazz and jive of Harlem, and the rap and street talk in ghettos today. That's next Monday at five past eight. And this BBC book on the series is available from booksellers. Also next Monday, as part of the BBC celebration of 50 years of television, we look back to the far-off days of 1936 and to the first flickers of life on the box. There's a temporary vacancy for secretarial staff at TS. You start this morning. What's TS? The television service. What television service? At Alexandra Palace. Well, there is no television service. The idea, uh, up to a few minutes ago, that is, was that... Uh, we all start work today, and that in ten weeks' time, November the 2nd, we broadcast the first programme of the world's first high-definition television service. A few minutes ago, however, I, I had a phone call from our elders and betters at Broadcasting House, who tell me that the uh, radio show at Olympia is having trouble selling stands to exhibitors. Well, we've been asked to help. Instead of ten weeks, we go on the air in nine days. <laughs> The trials and tribulations of those fools on the hill are remembered next Monday at 9.30 on 2. The 9 o'clock news has just started on BBC One to be followed at 9.30 by the second of Panorama's reports on the state of the National Health Service. Here on 2, the scourge of the English Tourist Board strikes again.